Welcome to the newest video. All right, right now I'm in the business of recharging the batteries. I got this new, smaller, but much stronger neodymium rotor. And of course, I got a better camera now, so this is gonna help me. This is better lights. I got a bigger lens. Say hello to the lens. This is the new camera. All right. Got all these batteries. All right. I'm not gonna count them right now because they're busy. There's a multimeter there. Okay. A lot of trash over there. So, let's see. Try to zoom in. Can't zoom in. All right. Worry about that later. Okay. This is the room. The got high def or not? Not quite, but uh, it's got a wider angle of view. This is a cyber shot. And, you know, this is just a few minutes later, and as we see, it didn't take much long for these things to start popping up. But, uh, that's just because I had put them all at the same time, and I was just trying to light up. But I just had just put them there, like, ten minutes ago, and now they're already green, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh... Not all of them are drained completely. All these folders, etc. School bag. Here's the fan. But uh, half the my room is off. Like, for example, I'll flip this because this room doesn't. This side of the room doesn't work. Same with the bathroom. I want to see the bathroom. This is just to prove all this light works. Go in here. It's remodeled. Need some light. No light. But you can see my hand. Barely see this. Okay. That's the bathroom being remodeled. The tiles you can barely see. As you see, we have a nice house. But it's in a stages of development. Just Time to relax. It's been a month since my previous video about, and a lot of money has been spent on my car, and as well as a new motor. motors. Magnets were pretty expensive. Like the uh, I got 32 cu half cubic inch. No, 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 each of them are a cubic inch in size. They're called new dynamic magnets. And I got 32 of them. That was 150. So you can walk around this couch, a circle, I do that a lot. Okay, well, this is the room, and it's about some insider stuff. I, in fact, got some videos, and you know, what's strange is, this screen shakes, like the, it gets gossed, it, the magnet all the way from over there when it spins it moves this whole thing the uh i mean the uh the picture i mean not the monitor yet i mean it doesn't shake that much but here we go we got the cd from i just installed it just installed the camera i bought it now borderline broke because of the tuition the car the new and motor and increasing level of responsibility, having to pay for more of what I have. But I'm still not, you know, totally you know, broke. I don't. I can make up for it. I mean, I'm majoring in accounting, so I've got to have to get this right. I mean, I don't want to be broke. So, uh, now I got, I mean, you know, I make minimum wage still, freaking, you know, less than $200 a week most of the time. So I'm not rich. I mean, my parents endow me with a lot of stuff. That's why this stuff is possible. You know, I mean, normal, like, this is how it's got to happen. You know, or it's, I mean, it's going to cost money. Got my list of videos, like, here's the old, you know, here's the old files. The dates. Lots of dates. A lot of, lot, a lot of videos. Some of them I don't really want to show anymore um so 
Now that I've done, now that I've shown this, uh, did I really want to do here? Oh yeah, I still have the internet, but you can look at that. Um, here's one that uh, it's not online anymore, but uh, here's one that's really kind of uh, kind of bad. Extend demo. So long ago. This is very short, actually, but you can see. So, got a lot of these videos here. It just proves the point. But we also have this video, but it's already on YouTube now. You can find this on a, you know, torrent and stuff. You know, this is the thing that got me into this. All because I wanted to cut my hair over my parents' sink. I went to my cousin's house, which where they had a, they had a TV with satellite. My house did not have that working at the time, so I went to their house. I saw the show, and this is the entire reason why. Oh, I, I've known about this. Isn't that weird? And well, I won't explain why that I even tried to cut my hair over my parents sink I'll just have to say it was because someone said I should but uh... They told me right up front, he said, now I came back here to shoot you down. I said, great. I said, good. I said, let me just show you. I want you to listen to my theory. Now, he was a mechanical engineer, and he listened to what I had to say. It all made sense to Milk from the first time he heard it, because he's mechanical. He said, Joey, I just think that's beautiful, what you just told me. And over a period of time, um, with what I saw and with, with what the engineer from Mississippi State saw, you know, I became convinced. Um, I'm sure a lot of y'all come here totally unbelieving. That's okay. Um, history always repeats itself. Joe said, well, what do you think, Mel? And I said, Joe, I, I truly think you've got something here that is going to change the world. And then he asked me the tough question. He said, will you stand up with me and tell the world this? And that was, that was a gut wrench. And so I had to reach down in my gut and say, you got the courage to stand up and say what, the, what this is. And I, and I told him, yes, I do. And I'll, I'll stand up with him. His machine is probably the most important invention and discovery in the history of man. As a result of Milton, then I got other people involved. I gave a demonstration at the Hilton in New Orleans. And A.A. Albert was there. A whole bunch of scientists was there speaking. And it was packed with 15 other people in there. Fire marshal that came in because there were so many people and wouldn't let nobody else in. To a man who needs no introduction, Joseph Newman. Well, I've worked with Joe now. This is actually my 20th year. I became fascinated by his work and what he was proposing, so I went to Heron at Tulane University. At that time, knew a number of scientists chemists, electrical engineers, physicists, and I got all of these gentlemen together. Right, running out of time. Joe Newman's workshop in Mississippi at the time. No way, I can split all this video up. spent the better part of the day with Joe, uh, looking at his prototypes, testing his various prototypes extensively, and all of them to a person signed affidavits attesting to the validity of his work. Throughout the early 80s, despite the affidavits, the U.S. Patent Office said...